In this video we're going to look at the new row animation effects that can be applied to any of the elements inside your templates. Now what we're going to do is open up the live editor and then find one of the elements you want to work with. For example, if we chose a piece of text, if we scroll on down, let's say we wanted this piece of text to have a different effect on it, we can go over to the cogwheel here on the right hand side, click on that, we'll open up the menu here. Scroll down and you'll see the settings at the bottom. We can check this box to animate the text when it's scrolled into view. So this means once that text comes into the browser view page, the viewpoint of the browser, it's going to apply that effect. Now the effect can be a number of different things, you can see them all here, from flashes, bounces, fade-ins, and different directional bounces and swings. Lots to choose from, lots to play with. Best to pick things that you like, maybe things you want to try. Wouldn't overdo these effects because obviously too many of them can really cause a distraction as people are scrolling down the page. Although if they're used cleverly, they can draw attention to certain parts of the page, especially by using the delay timer effect. So if I go down, if I just choose this, um, let's choose bounce in, and I could choose it to bounce down. And then here we have an option to set in a delay. So if we wanted it to um, appear after, or the effect to come into play after five seconds or 10 seconds, however long you wanted, you'd put in your seconds amount here. And if you wanted the infinite animation, you would check this box, it means it would just continue adding that effect. So I'll just choose the bounce down for now, I'll click update, and what I'll do is I'll go and save and close. Then I'll reload this page. Now what happens if we scroll down the page, see some text there, it just came in, just bounced in the page there as I scrolled into view. And um, if I go back up and just refresh this. Okay, the page loaded. If I scroll back down, we should see it there. It did just go, it just bounced there into um, effect. You can see if you if someone was hovering on the page and you had a delay timer on it, that would possibly kick in maybe five or 10 seconds after that came into the scroll point, into the viewpoint of the browser. So that is the row animations. You can pretty much apply these to any of the different elements you have on your page. Again, use them wisely. Don't just put them everywhere because you can have quite a messy looking page. But if you've got like elements of text that maybe you wanted to apply uh, like a fading something to, or maybe you wanted to make it sort of um, sort of zoom in and out, or just to draw the attention just to one point of text, then you can easily do it using these different types of animation effects we've got here. Things like the shake and the swing. Um, and the fading can just make it, you know, the text sort of come to life a bit and draw the attention to that area of the page.